uh, I think one of the things that was uh, not surprising, but but could be expected because the influence of of education was the letter that was sent by Congress to uh, UC Berkeley. So, uh, is that a fair place to start today? Uh, sure. Yeah, that, that's for sure. That's uh, the the I think the tweet that I forwarded to you is from the Select Committee on China. Um, basically, the if I remember correctly, that the Select Committee on China is uh, the the chair, the Mike Gallagher, along with um, other members of uh, con Congress, that they signed a letter, and this letter was uh, basically addressing to the um, um, to the, the president and Drake and Chancellor Christ. Um, they pointed out to the the possible. Um, uh, let me just take. Oh, sorry about that. No, I'm no, no, and I should have probably. So, yeah. So Gallagher has been in Congress. He's from Wisconsin, and he is the. Uh, let me just uh, do the same. He is the chairman of the Select Committee on China. So it is his responsibility to, to uh, manage what China is doing and their influence in the U.S. And he's been there for a while. And and, and he sent a letter of concern along with Virginia Fox, chairwoman, uh, Committee on Education and Workforce. And so uh, the the letter went out July 13th, just in the last few days. Mm -hmm. And they have grave yeah. concern about the University of California Berkeley's Joint Institute with state-controlled, uh, and, and I'll let you say that, to Singa University and Shenzhen government? Yeah, Tsinghua University. Okay. So that's, that's basically the top, uh, I would say not one, just the top university in China, uh, Tsinghua, and usually another one is Beijing Peking University. So in this letter, they pointed out the concerns that um, there are there are technology transfer possibly happening through the efforts of the CCP, uh, through the Tsinghua University via the UC uh, Berkeley, uh, working on some project that's quite sensitive in terms of the uh, applications on towards military. Uh, because in the letter they mentioned under the CCP strategy of military and civil fusion, uh, seemingly that civilians technology, but however the applications or towards a military. So